We won't normally be unboxing animals that we'll have for sale in our retail area, but today is a slightly different case because we figured these animals have not been shown on the channel in quite a while, and we want to spotlight the youngest breeder we have ever bought animals from. So let's unbox some mantises. <laughs> We were recently reached out to by Luke, who is a nine-year-old in California who breeds praying mantises. And he asked if we'd be interested in buying some of the babies he produced to sell in our retail area. And we said, absolutely, yes, that is awesome that you are breeding mantises at such a young age. And he had some really cool species that we are very excited to carry in our store. So we, they originally, they just arrived in two boxes, two pretty big boxes. There's a lot of mantises in here. So we opened them up at home, kind of took a quick look at them and then realized we should make an entire video about unboxing these amazing invertebrates. So we combined them into one box just for ease of filming, and now we're at the shop where we are going to officially unbox them. We bought four different species of mantises from Luke, and <laughs> I think he must know that I like trying the uh, packing peanuts. I wonder if these are the ones that... They are the ones that dissolve in your mouth. You, yeah, you could eat these, I Luke. could eat these! It says do not eat them! You could totally eat these packing peanuts. Emily's gonna get sick one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the edible biodegradable ones. <laughs> there you go, I spat it out, I didn't eat it. Yep. Oh, uh, if you get cheese powder, still ooh. saying we can make homemade Cheetos out of these. Yeah, you could, I bet you could. Um, there's some sort of, oh my gosh. Okay, I was gonna say, there's some sort of document in here, but these are care sheets that he included. That's cool. Okay, we'll take a look at those in a second, but I really wanna see these mantises. That is a ton of insects. Holy cow. I wonder if they're color coded too. There's so many colors on here. So we have the giant Asian mantis in here. Look at it, that's so big. He said he sent mantises that are in their second or third instar, meaning they've molted two or three times. So they're a decent size and they're a good, like, stable, hardy size. You typically lose the most babies when they're their first instar. Should we take one of these out? Sure. Okay, this is the giant Asian mantis. I love these little homes he made too. Yeah. These are adorable. How is the base staying out? Cause like usually when they tip, the base, oh, yeah. like the moss comes up. Yeah, it's totally holding together, did he? Oh, he put glue on the bottom. That's cool. Oh, did he like, really? Glue oh my gosh. To hold gosh. the base down. What nice. a cool idea. And look at this on the outside. There's a picture of Luke. That is awesome. And he put his like social media handles on nice. there. That's such a cool idea. Okay. So we have a nice screen lid here. He wow. This must have taken forever to make all yeah. of these screen lids. Is like that, cut the holes. Is that the tutu material? It is. Yeah. I th <laughs> well, I, it feels like it. Yeah. You can go to the Dollar Tree and buy like kids tutus. And it's just like a, a very fine mesh that works really well for mantis ventilation. Yeah. So I wonder if that's what it is. Probably not. But okay, giant Asian mantis. Oh, wow, it's pretty. Wow, that is cool. Come on out. Come here. You're staring me down. Like, You're Give me food. Not sure what to do. I want the food. Oh, no, no, no. Come <laughs> here. Come here. There he is. Look at that. So these are, from what I'm understanding, often green and or, or brown. They, you can get one or the other. So this is a brown individual. But these get pretty big too. Oh, look, he's doing his little defensive sway. He's like, oh, don't mind me. I'm just a twig in the wind. <laughs> I love that little dance. <laughs> so mantises are pretty well known for holding their front arms up in a praying position. So that's why they're called the praying mantis. And those arms are pretty thickened and they're specialized grabbing arms to help them catch and hold on to their prey. And they even have tibial spurs or tibial spines on those front legs to kind of stab and hold their prey in place while they literally eat it alive. They're pretty uh, metal. metal as far as <laughs> insects go. And I am glad they're not bigger than four inches inches as yeah. adults. That would be terrifying. But look at you, just looking around. So yeah, the giant Asian gets about four inches long, so it's a pretty large species of mantis. And this one, like, I'm surprised this is only L3. That actually yeah. might be, unless they're a lot bigger than I'm thinking even, that almost looks like an L4 or 5, but I could be wrong. Luke did say he sent L2s and 3s. So, okay, well, what species should we do next? I think we should save the really pretty one for okay. last. Okay, okay, the really cool so, one we'll save. Let's do the one we've already showed off on the channel. Your favorite? The ghosts? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is such a cute little one. Okay. Yeah, the ghosts gonna be are... teeny in comparison. Yeah, that's true. We're going from the biggest to the smallest. Yeah. So we bought some ghost mantises or Philocrania paradoxa, which is my 
one of my favorite species, but after we see some of these others, I might have a new favorite. We'll yeah. see. Currently, this is my favorite oh my species gosh. of mantis. It's like an ant. Yeah, it is so tiny. Right. The ghost mantises are camouflaged to look like dead leaves, and they sway around a bit like leaves do. Not like how dead leaves do, I guess, but every mantis seems to do the sway back and forth defense mechanism to blend in, and that's a type of behavioral camouflage. Look at them looking around. Yeah, I love their, oh. spi their head spike. Yeah, their horn. Yeah. The When they get older, and males, by the way, will molt seven times before they become adults, females will molt or shed their skin eight or nine times, and they typically have wider bodies, the females do. But for the ghost mantises, they can kind of be sexed not only by the length of their wings like other mantises can be, but the ghosts also have a longer, thinner horn on their head if they're males, or a shorter, broader one for females. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, so this is a really cool species. And they also are communal. Like, you can keep several together as long as they're well fed. Any other species of mantis, after their first molt, you need to separate them or they will start cannibalizing each other. But the ghost is the one oddball that seems to be okay living with others. These get about two inches long, so they're a pretty small species. So they're about, like that big as adults, but they are really cool. I love the features of the dead leaf look on both their head and their back and on their legs even too. This yeah. is uh, Luke's favorite species too. Ah, cool. Yeah, so good choice, Luke, yeah. yeah. Ghost mantises are pretty sweet. And the cool thing is, I know we were looking through the care guides, and a lot of that information that you were just sharing was actually in the care guide, which mm -hmm. is really cool. Yeah, we've that... looked at the care guides a little bit now, and I cannot wait to show you these care guides yeah. that Luke wrote up. I love these mini habitats. I, like, can't say that enough. He put so much effort into putting, like, moss at the bottom and flowers and gluing it all together so during shipment nothing got jostled around. Yeah, like... That is so cool. Yeah, yeah, look at that. It stays. That's yeah. just amazing. Really cool. <laughs> and that'll actually be a good habitat for this guy for quite a while. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you need the height of the enclosure to be around three times the length of the mantis to allow them to hang from the top and molt while hanging. Like, they, they drop downwards while they molt, if that makes sense. So, oh, he's sitting on his pedal. That's adorable. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. But yeah, you want the height to be around three times their length, according to Luke's care guide, which I totally agree with. And yeah, so this is going to be a nice habitat for quite a while for this mantis. Dude. You don't really uh, camouflage in on that leaf. Not really. Run away! Okay, next up is Popasperca, or the African twig mantis that we got. They look like a stick. And these ones we've never really dealt with before. No, we haven't. I've never held one before, I think even. those are in these cups, aren't they? The yellow? Yeah. Uh, nope, that's the last one. There it is. There. Okay, here's Green one cups. of them. Yeah. So here we have the Popasperca. These are also pretty small right now. Hi, friend. Look at you. You're just like a stick with a curvy butt. Where are you going? You you seem to move so much differently than the mantises I'm used to. Yeah, these just literally look like brown sticks when they're adults. They're pretty cool. You don't hear them too often. They don't really have as noticeable front arms as the other species do, so I don't think they're as popular, but they're still really cool. You might notice that he has a pretty curved abdomen, and actually a lot of species of mantises have a curved up abdomen while they're babies or while they're young, and once they become adults, that abdomen straightens out and their wings kind of hold it flat too. So this one and the ghost that we got, are you cleaning your legs now? Yep, now seems like a good time to clean your legs. Uh, these little guys are going to be big enough to eat probably eighth inch crickets, which we have here, so we'll be able to feed them easily. Or they could eat larger fruit flies like the Hydei fruit flies. They should be fed about every three days or so and misted uh, even more often than that because the biggest killer of praying mantises is low humidity, which causes them to have unsuccessful molts that end up killing the mantis. A nice thing about using this mesh material for the lid is that you can mist them directly through it. There. You don't even have to take off the lid. I did notice, actually, here's another Popasperca that actually shed in the cup, so he must have shed in transit. But just to show you what that looks like, it's pressed up against the side of the cup here. Oh, yep. So he must have changed from an L2 to an L3 on the right over. So before after. <laughs> so yeah, again, when they molt or they, they, when mantises are first hatched from their uthica, they are L1 or first instar. And then when they molt or shed their skin, which in the insect world, it's really just called molting, uh, then they become an L2 or a second instar and so on and so forth until L7 or seventh instar for males and then eight or ninth instar for females. So if you see L with a number afterwards, that's what it means. Should we do the last species? Sure, this is the exciting one. Oh, it's my favorite one. Okay, let's do it. And the last one is the spiny flower mantis. This is a really neat species of praying mantis. So let's take one out. Okay, spiny flower mantis. 
Check this out. Wow, look at that. The details over its entire body are just incredible. I love its super black eyes. Yeah. These go through kind of an ontogenetic color change as they grow when their babies are like L1s to L2s. I don't know exactly when they change, but they start out black because they look like ants or they imitate ants. And then as they get older, they develop these wonderful colors of pink, green, white, oh, and yellow. What are you doing, Mantis? I don't know what he's trying to do. Are you thirsty? Spray Here. some water on him. Do you want a little <laughs> spritz? Here. There, there's some water. Is that what you were looking for? Nope, this glue looks really tasty, so I'm gonna eat this glue. Gonna try to eat the glue. Okay. Well, <laughs> oh, taking a drink. A drink. Aww. Well, we're gonna miss all of them after this anyway, so yep. if anybody else is thirsty, they'll be satisfied here soon. They lose the spikes as they get older, but instead of spikes, they have these beautifully colored wings, and they have a really cool defensive display where they like fan out their wings a bit, and they just look really intimidating, they think, but they're actually really pretty. Okay, I found some more. I've been unpacking the spiny flowers as Ed has been filming bee footage, and here is a baby. They look just <laughs> like an ant. Yeah. Look at that. That's crazy how jet black they are. Don't go over in that other lid, dude. Okay, so we've got baby, or like L2. We have an L4 probably here, or maybe three. Can't, I can't, <laughs> no, it's gotta be a four. And then they get even more colorful as they get older. Check out this one that we got in. Look at that, that one's really starting to get the whites and the pinks in. Even some greens are coming in on the legs now. These go through the coolest color change. Oh my gosh, it has purple eyes. Does it? Yes, look at this. You have purple eyes. Wow. That is crazy. I like how they move their butt. Yeah, what a cute little butt wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> He's dancing to the rhythm yeah. of his own tune. Yeah, even his arms are dancing. What a good little dancer. He's even like playing the piano. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love that you can theme their enclosures to best match their colors. Like look at these two, kind of a green themed cup that Luke put together. But then this one that's a little bit older and is developing pinks, he put in a pink themed enclosure. That is so cool. Yeah. I love the thought that, and all of the effort he put into these. Mm -hmm. Another fun fact about mantises is they have an ultrasonic ear located on their chest, or really their thorax, the underside of their thorax. And that ultrasonic ear allows them to pick up the frequencies of bats flying around. And if they sense a bat, like if a male is, fl if a male is flying around and senses a bat nearby, it will suddenly start spiraling downwards to avoid being caught by the bat and eaten. So it's a, such a special specialized organ that they have really just to detect bats. But yeah, those are the four species of mantises that we got from Luke over in California. And actually we brought them all out on the counter here. Yeah. We bought a lot of mantises. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, don't be surprised. This video is probably gonna come out about, I don't know, two, three weeks from now. Probably. Um, I'm guessing at that point, we won't have any of the flower mantis left. I'm sure those will be gone. Well, we're gonna hold on to a few yeah, ourselves. we're holding on to like four of them. I wanna keep this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in love. Next, I think we should show off the care guides that Luke put together. Okay. Here are the care sheets that Luke made. That is insane that also he double-sided. Double -sided. Yeah, so he included a care sheet for each species that we bought so that we can hand out a care sheet to everybody who buys one. And yeah, you can take this out, you can flip them over. They're double-sided. They have a picture of the species on the back and a picture of him holding the species on his face <laughs> on the front. And this is just crazy how responsible, how advanced he is for a nine-year-old. Housing, diet, scheduling on food, talking about himself a little bit, and then talking about what to expect when molting, That's all that insane. kind of stuff. Yeah, I know a lot of breeders of reptiles and other inverts who are adults who don't put this much effort yeah. into care guides for their customers. So. The only people I've actually seen do similar to this is Josh's frogs, who Josh's has care frogs guides too. for all of their frogs. Yeah, and that's really cool too. But for you to do this at your age, this is incredible. I love how this is all like color coded even. It's very easy to read. So I don't know if maybe your mom helped you out with this. If she did, you two together did a great job with this. To everyone watching, you should definitely go check out Luke's YouTube and Instagram account at Lukebug Adventures. He has some really fun stuff and even more cool species that he works with. Again, the reason why we filmed this unboxing video was because not only have we not shown praying mantises on the channel in a while, but we were so blown away by how mature and how advanced Luke is at nine years old. Already breed, breeding praying mantises, like I've tried breeding praying mantises and 
couldn't get anything to, to work, basically, but Luke has it figured out. Luke has also put together these awesome little habitats for the praying mantises that he sells. He included care guides that were really well written. And yeah, Ed and I were just so impressed. We had to do a video all about this because if you are into reptiles or amphibians or invertebrates and you want to raise them and breed them, but you're younger, don't let your age slow you down from pursuing your passion. Luke figured it out. Luke was able to um, produce these and he has his own breeding business and he's going to do great things in the entomology world. I can just already tell. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's unboxing video. As always, we want to thank our very generous Patreon backers for their wonderful support. And let us know in the comments below which species was your favorite from today's video. The giant Asian, the ghost mantis, the popasperca or African twig mantis, or the spiny flower mantis, which I think is probably my favorite. Yeah, I think mine too. Now. The spiny flowers are so incredible. I mean, they're all amazing. I love all of these, but we're probably going to hold back a few of those spiny flowers to raise up yep. ourselves because they're so pretty. Anyway, thank you so much, everybody, for watching our videos, and we'll see you next well, time. Before you leave, they drink water off of your hands. Oh, are we going to water them? Yeah, I think okay. we should. It's really cute. Yeah. I was half not paying attention to anything you said because they were drinking water off my Here. hand. Have some water. There you go. Aww. Oh, the water, it's so tasty. Aww. You're adorable.